Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Brotator. We are jumping in once again and last time we did a decent run. We were playing as the multitasker. This time we're going in as the wildling. Um, a wilding? Wilding or wildling? Um, wildling. 25% life steal with primitive weapons. You can start with a stick. You can't equip weapons past tier 2. Ooh, this is kind of an interesting one. So, of course, we did play a full stick run last time, but it looks like, honestly, stick run is a good way to go early on. But then I think we'll probably uh, pivot into probably spears. I'd like to do spears um, or maybe slingshots. But not being able to go past tier two is a little bit concerning because that, that might mean that um, going with sticks primarily is, like, the way to go. This character seems like sticks is the best way to do things. Um, we did start with, I think it was 25% lifesteal and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go with speed off the bat. We'll go with another primitive weapon here. We'll go with that. We'll lock that in. There you go. I don't think the rock is all that good, to be honest, but we'll take it on nonetheless. In, in fact, I say that. It does good damage. It's just kind of low fire rate, kind of low range. But if enemies are getting up close and personal, then I don't see it as too bad, to be honest. Let's try and get as many materials as we possibly can here. I'm going to take damage to secure as much money as we can. I'm not really sure what items we want to go for, what sort of build. I think we go for as much life steal as we can get. Um, I think we'll go for... We could go for dodge. I've never really done a dodge build. Let's try and do some dodge. Um, we'll take that. We'll take that. And then, yeah, they've got 25% life steal on them, so that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Hedgehog will help a lot with getting our stats back a little. I don't know how many ranged primitive weapons there are. I know there's the slingshot, but I don't know what other ones there are. And I don't know if there's any, like, rare primitive weapons that I haven't seen yet. I'm not 100% sure. Also, the ethereal weapons, I don't know if any of them count as primitive, because they are kind of, like, spears and stuff, so maybe they do. That'd be kind of a good way to uh, work out a build if that works. Okay, good. We're getting good money each way for... Um, I think we want to go for the armor here. We'll take on another rock. Honestly, luck in that harvesting. We'll take that as well. Honestly, luck is really not important because rarity of, of items, especially weapons, just doesn't matter at all. We've got four weapons now. That's decent. Honestly, going all rocks could be kind of fun. As, as slow as they are, I think having six of them could be pretty good. There we go. We get, as long as we're getting a good amount of materials per wave here, I think we're going to do fine. Seems like these dudes are way easier with melee. The, the, the new air uh, enemies. They don't fire anywhere near as many shots when you're using me melee by the looks of things. I'm really not too concerned about the damage we're taking right now with the lifesteal that we have. I think we're going to be healing up pretty regularly. So I'm going to try and get in there. Um, and with that, maybe we take some more lifesteal. Yeah, we'll take some more life steal. I'm going to go with harvesting here because I'm going to be taking harvests. Oh, cactus club is primitive. Okay. We take this. We lock this in. Nice. Okay. Yeah, cactus club is one that I haven't really played around with too much, but it's a really, really interesting weapon that benefits from both ranged and melee. So the little spikes that it shoots uh, benefit from range damage, I believe. So we can kind of play around with that a little bit. I kind of forgot that that class is primitive, so maybe we'll go full Cactus Club if we can manage it. Obviously, it depends what the game gives us to uh, what we end up going whole hog on. Ooh, hello, hello. I see you there, sir. We should actually kill this guy pretty darn quick, to be honest. There you go. Just trying to get as much money as I possibly can here. Taking damage to do so, but it's fine. Uh, that's really good. I don't mind the speed loss. That's really good. We don't need elemental. Um, we'll go with the range here. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. I think we'll take... So I think we'll combine... Actually, no. Let's let's get rid of a stone. Let's combine the stones. And let's buy both of these. Now, sticks are in a good place. 8% health regen start waves with... Yeah, I'm going to try that out. It sounds a little risky, but honestly, primitive weapons are giving us max HP, so that's not a big deal. And honestly, 8% HP regen is a lot. It's, it's a big boost. And we also have the lifesteal as well. Like, we're already on max HP now, so 
I know that's going to be a thing that's going to be permanent throughout the entire run, so it is a little risky to take that. But honestly, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Also, our sticks are at the point now where they're doing great damage, so that's very nice. But yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm thinking maybe we'll go with a few more cacti clubs if we can. But also, putting these sticks down is actually going to be not so easy for me. I kind of want to keep them. There you go. Um. Well, that isn't super good right now. I'm going to take that because um, we can get some good stuff going on with that. Definitely go with the life steal here. Ranged. Uh, so we could go with another cacti club this time around. So let's um. Let's combine our sticks and take a Cacti Club. We'll take that as well. I realize we're losing a bit of damage percent now. We'll also take that. We can re-roll and we'll lock... Oh, we can actually buy that already. So let's combine these and buy that. I'm going to lock that in. And I'm going to lock... Nah, I'm going to try and build my dodge. I won't lock that in yet. I'll lock the free re-roll in there. Um, and honestly, I'll lock that in as well. Them two are pretty good. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to try and build my speed up a little bit and get some bonuses from that. I realize we've lost... We're losing 2% damage right now. It's not a lot, which is good. Yeah, cacti clubs seem like they're going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun indeed. I mean, you can see right now that the damage we're outputting is pretty huge. I love the ability with melee to just stay up close. Honestly, I think I like melee builds a bit more than I like range builds in this game. I mean, I like the fact that you can kind of go half and half. One of my, what, like, what I was saying last episode, one of the greatest things about this game is the ability to equip six weapons is just so fun. Um, and I really like the, the the way that you can change your builds with that. We can do like half and half builds if we want. Okay, taking a few of these guys out. We are losing quite a lot of health, but like I said, it's for, it's for, the, for the money. Melee damage is pretty much a must here. Um... Ooh, we got some good stuff here. So we'll take that, we'll take that, and we'll take that. And we go for the free reroll just to try and lock in other stuff. We got another stick here. Um, I think we just buy that and that upgrades it. I think we'll lock that in. Then we'll reroll. I think we'll just leave that as is. I've not seen many support class things there. The hand was support. I've not seen many that are uh, of type support. Right, I kind of forgot that we're starting off the wave with less HP. As tends to happen with the item that we picked up. We don't need to wait long to, to regain most of that health. That was a very bad hit for me there. I got hit by like every single big dude in one go. Let's try and take out some of these shooter dudes because they're really stacking up now. Okay, we got rid of most of them. The big dudes are problematic right now. And of course, we get some of the uh, armored big dudes as well, which do even more damage. I think they attack pretty much the exact same way, but they, they certainly do a bit more damage. Try and get some of these materials here. Okay, good. Um, This is a tricky one. There's a lot of good stuff here. I'll take the dodge. I'll take the max HP. Take some more dodge. Take some luck. Not that we need luck a lot, but makes up for the luck that we've lost. Take some more luck. Good to go. Weaponry wise, I think we're doing really well. We got everything at level 2, which is currently our max for this character. I wonder if anything that's above level 2 can show up in the shop and we just can't buy it. I'm going to guess not, but that might be a thing. I definitely need another Cacti Club in the mix. I think we need to get rid of that rock as soon as possible. I think the rock is kind of the main thing that's falling off for us right now. I think I did see a tree up here. I did indeed. Good. good. I'm playing it super risky right now, but I think if you take a look at my health, you see that it's it's mostly working out. Oh, we got another one of these dudes. We got him, nice. Honestly, this is so much money for this wave. Holy. That was a crazy wave for us there. I guess we'll take that. Attack speed we'll take. Damage we'll take here. 
Our crit chance is at zero. We could take this. I think I will. Okay, so that, that isn't... That is just ethereal. Okay. Um... There's another stick. I guess we could at least recycle this and take a stick. Take that as well. There's another cacti club, so maybe actually we will recycle that and take another cacti club. I, I realize I'm losing armor here. Okay. Another cacti club there that gets them all to blue, which is good. I think we'll lock that in for later, and I'll lock that in as well. Okay, good with the Cacti Clubs now. We can maybe go for some more range damage if we want. Our sticks are doing well. We're setting things on fire here and there as well, which is nice. Maybe something I ought to do. I haven't tried it yet. HP bar on character, um, which doesn't seem to have taken effect right now. Maybe it'll start next wave, I'll see. I'll leave that on because I think that could help a lot. Or maybe maybe it only shows when I take damage. Let me try and take some damage. Yeah, okay, it does. Okay, that's really that's actually really good to know. I'm gonna keep that on. Because I have a hard time in this game seeing when I'm taking damage. Or seeing what my health currently is, should I say. So I think um having that enabled is gonna help a lot. A bit it'll allow me to slightly better manage when I'm able to do certain things, because I'm not gonna be Panicking as much about looking to the top left to see my current HP. It also allows me to get a nice gauge on how quickly we're healing, which is pretty quick right now. Nice, nice. Extra luck we'll take. We'll take that, we'll take that. Honestly, we've got enough harvesting for me to relinquish some of that for some um, more HP regen and lifesteal. And then... Hmm. We definitely need to up our range damage. Our range damage is really low right now. Because our cacti aren't benefiting from that at all at the moment. Okay, we do have some of these fellas. They're not dying super fast. Also, yeah, another good thing about having the health bar above my head is it's going to remind me that I start every wave with minus 50% HP because I'm going to forget that at some point and run into something thinking it's okay and it's not going to be, so... Beautiful. Things are going well. Not going to get as much money this wave, I don't think, just because things are dying slower, the enemies are bigger. Um, and it's a little harder for us to run directly through the center of everything. I mean, it's, it's possible, as you can see, but it's not as plausible as it once was. I'm liking seeing all these dodges. Oh, we've got another one of these dudes in. Nice. Actually, wasn't too bad for money there. Yes, please, we'll take that. We'll take the damage. I'll take plus 20 luck, yeah. Hmm. We'll take that. We'll take that. That'll put our range damage in the positive at least. We'll lock that in. We'll lock that in. We'll buy that. I know that's, that's minus one melee damage, but... I think to regain quite a lot of harvesting, it's worth it. I don't really know what these little burn now things do. I feel like they heal their enemies, but I've never actually confirmed that yet. Still not 100% sure. Okay, good to go. Big guys are kind of surrounding us a little bit here, and they're not really dying very fast, so we've got to be careful of them. Everything else is doing well. I think, I, as I've said in pre uh, previous episodes, this center strategy is just so good. Sitting in the center like this, it just works so well. Especially with dodge. I think dodge makes it more plausible. We don't have a lot of dodge right now, so it's not like the greatest strategy. working out decently well enough. 
Um, get some lifesteal going. There's some more dodge. Dodge is up to 43% now. That's fantastic. Okay, great. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's pretty good. That would that would put our crit back on. Eh, it's not great though with our current crit actually. We can get rid of some of that range for some more XP. We'll lock that in. We'll lock that in. I like the landmines. They're pretty good. I know we don't have any engineering, but it's just extra damage on the field that's AOE based. So we are on wave 13 now, so we're getting some of the new enemies a little more regularly. Take care of the flying dudes. I think I'm trying to try and focus on range damage now because I, I didn't realize my dodge had gotten up to such an impressive level. I don't really need to focus on that as much anymore. Like, the thing is with dodge, it's a little risky because if I just get unlucky and don't dodge a few times in a row, I can still die really fast. But my chances of dodging are pretty high, so it's a, it's, it's a low chance for that to happen, but it, it can happen is the only problem. But that's kind of why we have all the regen we have. We can get so much more in the thick of it with the dodge we have there. We just took a lot of damage there. Good, good. Take that. More dodge I'm going to take. Free reroll that, and then we'll reroll. Having two of the free rerolls doesn't seem to do anything. I have two of them. I, I didn't get two free rerolls there. Um, I'll take that because I don't need the life steal as bad because it's built into my weapon. And I think we will. Let me just check. Yeah, I definitely can't buy that. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna lock both of these in and go. We're not going to be standing still very often, but the option's kind of nice. Just in case we need that extra 20% dodge at some point. I kind of like the ability to have it. I've got to be careful because these guys spawn little shooters everywhere. I want to be taking those out as quickly as I can. I'm not sure if they can only spawn from the big dudes. Or if it's just a chance to spawn naturally as well, but... Either way, there's a lot of them right now. And they are problematic. I need to, like, when I kill these big chubby dudes, I need to, like, stand there and wait until they spawn so I can insta-kill them. Because they, they're, they're very weak, is the good thing. Good. Got an extra item there, nice. But you can see the amount of bullets that are on screen now is quite large. What's my speed at currently? 15. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, we'll take more speed there. We'll take the dodge. Get the free reroll to lock something in. I'll lock that in. I'll lock that in as well. I don't mind the extra enemies. I mean, the fact that we won with the 50% increase enemies means I can probably deal with 5% extra. I don't mind that at all. It's not a big deal. But I think the enemies that are shooting are not going to be as problematic with, it, with as much dodge as we have. Now, I could try just standing still, but nah, nah, standing still isn't the way to go. I thought standing still might be a good tactic with the extra 20%. I bought it just to check, but it's not. It's not a good tactic. Moving around seems to be much better regardless. But... Then again, how much armor do we have? We only have three armor. It'd be nice to get some more armor going. But yeah, having all the dodge that we have is really good. We have thrown away some armor for dodge. Oh, can you go into minus armor, I wonder? Probably. Good. Recycle that, I think. Range damage, finally. We'll take that. Ooh. Melee damage. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. We'll take that as well. And we'll keep that locked in. Yeah, the lowered speed is, is bad, but our speed is actually pretty darn high. We've, all, we've also got one under max dodge, which is pretty good. I mean, we are stood still right now, so... 
We're getting the extra 20% there. 70% is max. Which makes sense. You could Having any higher than that would just be ridiculous. Just glad we can heal through it so quickly when we take damage. We got another achievement. Uh, gain. I think that was gain 70% dodge. I'll, get, I'll dodge so many attacks or something. I'm not sure what it was. It was something to do with dodge. Oh my god. That was a lot of damage taken, but that was also really satisfying. Yeah, there's some enemies that are doing like 17 damage a hit to me. Um, let's go with more life steal here. Take that. Take that life steal. Six armor standing still. Damn, we do need more armor, but that's not the armor that we need. not really seeing it, are we? Um, with our range, we can probably lock that in and take the 12% damage. Big red dude is very angry. Fruit healing us for an additional one is pretty good here. Might not be saving our life, but useful nonetheless. Yeah, 18 damage. Basically, whenever we don't manage to dodge, things to get real scary. It's kind of a very risky build that we've got going on here. Yeah, there you go. All it took is two missed dodges, and that's it. Uh, we're going to retry this guy, and this time uh, I'm going to go no sticks. I'm going to go back to the main menu and tr change our weapon up. Well, who are we playing as again? This guy. Okay, let's go with the spear this time. I just, I think the spear is a really good starting weapon. The, the only thing is not being able to upgrade our weapons is going to be problematic. I don't know how really we get around that. I guess we just take a bunch of percent damage. Okay, good. I could go with like really high crit chance actually. Range is good. The lock in the look. I've never really gone for a crit build, to be honest. I don't know. Is there a max crit chance? No. I always I, I always end up taking items that take away from my crit chance. So maybe I could negate the damage, the, the inability to upgrade my weapons by just getting a lot of crits. A good way to augment my damage. We'll try that out, maybe. Take armor here. We'll take that. Take that. Good, good. I love how our character looks with the little book teeth and the uh, and the glasses on. It's great. Getting a good amount of money already. Charger showing up a little earlier than normal. Already seeing a few crits here and there. For a good amount of damage as well. I think next step though is getting more weapons. Um, more armor. We'll take that. Another stick here. Trees die in one hit. Yes. Max HP. Yes. I'll take another stick because why not right now. I'm not really planning on doing a stick build. But they are pretty good. We've proven the power of the spear before, though, so I'm okay with sticking with it. And honestly, trees die in one hit. Probably one of my favourite upgrades. That does it, it's not like super impactful, but it, it does help a ton. I keep thinking, oh, we don't have any way to heal up, but right now we have 25% health regen on everything, so. No! He must have been so close to dead. More armor. 
We can take guns. I still think it's the best way to do it. Go with that. Go with that. Just be careful because we're on one HP right now. Or two. I was hoping I'd heal up a bit quicker than this, but... Taking a bit of time. We're getting there. We're on 14 HP now. We're pretty safe. Oh, another one of these guys. Don't let another one get away. Okay, thank God. I was going to be really annoyed if another one got away. And recycle that. Go with attack speed here. Melee damage. Armor. More range. More luck. We'll lock that in. Not a particularly crazy build we got going on here. Nothing's standing out right now, but I don't think we've really formed the build itself yet. We've not really informed what defines it, so to say. Like I said, we will get there. But at least with all these primitive weapons, again, as I said, we do get max HP, so... I don't need to worry about upgrading max HP too much. I still want to get it where I can. But other characters, it's more primary. This character. Or at least this playstyle, it's not as primary. We don't have quite the ability to run through the crowd as we did last time, so let's not fall into that trap. It's still plausible, but it's not the best way of doing things. More attack speed. Take that. Take that. More trees. Good. Lock in the stick. Cause... I have to say, I do kind of want the sword, regardless of it not being, um, regardless of it not being a primitive weapon. I do like the idea of the sword. Because the primitive is just the lifesteal that we get. Every, like, we don't have to have lifesteal on every weapon, I guess. Especially if we get some natural lifesteal as well in stats. Got the trees die in one hit and more trees spawn as well, which is always good. Come here, you burn bearing bastard. I don't know what you do, but you don't you don't attack me, which means you do something to the enemies. You rally them or something, I don't know. Ooh, I took a lot of damage there. Be a little bit careful. Exactly 200. Um, More speed? More crit chance. There's the crit chance we were looking for. We're up to 10% already. Take the sword. Combine these and take another stick. Piggy bank is good. We'll leave it there. Yeah, sword is like, I don't know. It, ha it has the thrust and stuff as well. These big guys, we might not make short work of them as such. But we'll see. We'll see. One second. Right back. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know. The sword, the sword is like good. I think with a lot of crits, it could be really good. I don't know. Do, do we have crit chance, like crit damage stat on things? Not really. It says 26, 25. I don't know what that means. Oh, I think that's that's the different types of attacks that it does. Swiping and the piercing. That's good to know. I'm playing it risky right now. Very, very risky. God damn. Not a good idea. I don't really have the damage to, like, insta-kill these big guys. Or even close to. But I'm trying to. Okay. Lifesteal over harvesting. Yes, please. Um... Attack speed again, I think. Circular Saw. That does already have life steal on it. I've never used it before. I'm going to get rid of my Cacti Club at this point. 
Um, I'm going to take a slingshot instead. I'm going to recycle a stick. I realize that means we only have one stick left, but I want to keep a slot open to find new weapons. I've never used the circular saw before. I don't know how good it is, but it has a lot of lifesteal on it, though, which makes me hope. I don't really know why a circular saw is giving lifesteal, but I'm not going to question the logic in that right now. I'm just going to accept it for what it is. I can't wait until I get to play the doctor and do like a full medical run. Loads of lifesteal healing. I think it's going to be really fun. Seems the circular saw has very bad range, which is kind of understandable. Tree. So many boxes, nice. I need to probably swap out my spear. It's, it's kind of fallen off. Not really doing too much anymore. Okay, good. Lots of money that wave. What's our damage stat? At? Okay, our damage stat is bad. Let's not go for that. More range will take that. More damage will take that. 25% explosion radius. We don't have anything explosive right now. I like the idea of that, but yeah, we got nothing to work with it. We'll take that. We'll take that. I want to try blood donation. It seems like it could be so good, but um, it's also so risky. <laughs> I think I need a lot more HP regen or lifesteal before I go ahead with that. What's our speed at right now? Speed is at 3, so we can take this. Um, okay, so there's, a, there's our new spear, so let's recycle that and buy that one. Let's take that. Let's take that. I'll try and get a crit chance really high up. We are missing a lot of harvesting. We lose eight material at the end of each wave, which isn't good. But honestly, the, the later on we get, the less eight materials matter. Let's take out all the big guys here. Okay, the big guys are going down reasonably fast now. I still wouldn't say quick, but we're able to get them like mid-charge. Tree up here as well. Another tree here. There's a thingy guy in here somewhere. Another crate. There's three items at the end of this wave. Oh my god. I played it so risky at the end of that wave. Knockback is awesome. Double value is great. That is minus crit chance, but would give us some armor, max HP, speed, damage, and I'm going to recycle. I'm going to recycle that as well. Crit chance. Crit chance. Laser turret is pretty good. We'll take that. Range is looking fine. We'll take the XP gain. I will lock that in. This is a very odd run that we've got going on. Our weaponry especially. I'm really hoping the crit chance that we've gained is, is going to carry us the... It's up to... What is it now? 29%. It doesn't have a max either. Once we get up to 50, then we're rolling. I've never got it any higher than about 10, so this is already new to me. See how it goes. I like the noises of crits. Sounds really satisfying. I said that in the uh, last episode as well, to be fair. This game just, the sound design is so satisfying. Did a really good job making everything sound really impactful and just enjoyable to listen to and satisfying. We definitely need more max HP. I think there's a few things that could probably one shot us. Not one shot us, but like kill us pretty quick. Another two crates here.
Mo. 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 Grab that. Crit chance is now at 40%. I realise that a crit is only doubling our damage, so if our damage is pretty bad, it doesn't matter, but it's 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 still good, and we can get it going as we get more damage later on. Which I will try and do, because my damage is currently at is that 18%? My melee damage is only at 5. That that could go that could do to go up quite a lot. We are getting a lot of healing from fruit right now. And also the the um I think we got double, yeah, double extra knockback is very, very good. Especially as a melee character. Being able to get enemies off you when you need them off you is pretty important. Yeah, honestly, the a bonus to um to fruit healing, I think it heals for like nine now, is huge. We don't always need that, but it does come in handy. Oh, shit. I got hit for 11 there. What by? Anyways, I think we'll leave this episode off there. This character's a little iffy to play, I've got to say. If we return to menu and check who we've got next up, we have the Pacifist. Gain 0.8 materials and XP for every living enemy at the end of a wave. Trees die in one hit. Oh, minus... Oh, damn. Okay, that's kind of interesting. We'll try that guy out. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.